Emacs is great text editor. The full power is unleashed when you need to edit multiple files in several projects, and the brilliance of Emacs is about adoption to specific needs. But now, in this video, let's narrow down to some specific functionality. Let's explore how Emacs can help you edit in various shell scripts. Let's start from writing some shell scripts. Shell sh. Okay. So, in this mode, we see that shell script mode is separated by Emacs because that's indicated in model line. Also, you can see this nice menu, which helps you explore the functionality of the mode and provides you with the keystrokes, which you can remember, or you can just use this menu. Okay, let's indicate that we are doing bash scripting. And now let's do some for loop. Okay, for, uh, for loop. We need to indicate variable i and then in 1, 2, 5, for example, and do this echo. Okay? You see, when you not finish it, something like this, the, the, the mode will indicate you the error, so you have to finish it. Okay, so syntax errors are catched. Now let's execute it. Yes. Okay, so we see it works fine. Now let's do something else like for example countdown. Okay, so let's start from 10 and just count down. Greater than 0. expression okay let's execute countdown works fine so what else you can do here you can debug how to do debugging debugging is very easy you just run the same but with debugging bash db debugger and uh, for Emacs, you need to tell that you are debugging. So you need to do real, like tell that this is real, good, real, good track mode. And so now we do first step. Oh, okay, so real good track mode, and we need to tell which one, bash db. Okay, so step. And so now you see this indication that we are on this first line of four. And we can do like here we just press S and it will do step or we can press N, it will do next. And for example, you can set breakpoint, set on the line, press B and the breakpoint is created on this line. And now from the from the step where we are, you just press C as continue to next breakpoint. It will continue until the next breakpoint. Okay, so and now the same is going here. You can debug and then just continue. Okay, so that's basically how you can debug. What additionally can be done with this bash scripting mode? Okay, so you have to queue it so it will clean up. Uh, you can uh, look at the manuals. For example, you press F1, it takes context techo, and you see the manual here. Uh, that's basically it. Try it and look at these context menus. It will help you navigating, like learning what's in the, in the mode. So, so it's pretty 